found Storm yeah. Gym. Yeah. Um, how far out of uh, addiction and stuff was you? And what was what was your transition like into Storm Gym? Um, so when we was in groups, yeah, there's a gym down the road, Fitness Mill. I was still training actually, and uh, there was a punch bag there, and I was very. I used I used movement to get rid of anger. I'd whack a bag and be all right afterwards. So, and I still do that to this very day. Sometimes there might be something that's you know, really locked my mind in. I'm in my feelings about something and I'm locked off. So I hit a bag, have train, call George, can we hit pads? Yeah, great. Then that same problem, I look at it again from a different view because the energy's gone. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, so I've yeah. cleared my, unblocked myself and I said, oh, let, let me call him about that. So when I went, to, uh, when I went back to Luton, Art, obviously Art had died, David died, and a lot of people had dispersed. And I didn't really know many people. So I, there was Roy Lewis and Jerry Jackson... And they were like, oh, yeah, you're back a little man. Come see. I said, yeah, what's happened to you? He said, oh, it's dead. It's Storm Gym now. Everyone works at Storm Gym. I said, I've never heard of Storm Gym. So I remember went down there to meet Amir. And Amir, like, it's just, you know, look up and down. Gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Like, scary guy, man. Similar to me, actually. So anyway, the first time I went to Storm Gym, Jerry Moore was there. You know, Andrew Tate was there. Uh, his brother, Tristan, Nigel, Dale, all the, all the top guys was there. It was like sparring, and I was like, okay, I've been in rehab, and I'm not that great. This was about a year after being clean. And anyway, yeah, it was just, you know, you're in the trenches, man. Every session was a trench session. And Amir just wanted to test your character. I think, you know, Amir tested my character on so many levels, man. And it's funny, you know, not many people know this. So everyone's like, Andrew Tate's one of the most famous guys on the planet. Apparently, he's the most Googled guy, yeah, on the planet, right? I don't know how true that is, but that's I what think it's true. Is that true? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So... Everyone says to me, where'd you get your nickname from? The Bull. They call me The Bull, innit? And it's Amir that gave me the nickname. Because when I was sparring with Andrew Tate, man, he was picking me off left, right, and center. I was just like, mate, I'm fucking, I'm sick to death of this cunt. And I never knew who he was. I didn't know he was four times, well, I didn't know who he was. He was just some guy in a green belt and a gi. I thought, wait, God, I'm going to kick his ass. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Next thing I know, he's picking me off left, right, and beating me up left, right, and center. And, it, and in the end, I just bit down on the ground shoe and said, fuck it. I'm gonna, I just, just lost steam it. In. Steam in. I didn't do too bad. And then Amir started laughing. Everyone starts laughing. I'm really upset and emotional because, you know what I mean? <laughs> and Amir turns around and says, look, 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 he turned into the bull. Wilmot, he's the bull, the bull. <laughs> and everyone kind of laughed. I was upset. Everyone's joking and bantering. And that was it. That, the nickname stuck. The bull. The bull. Dave the bull. It's so, a great nickname to have though, isn't it? So 11 years old at East West, I was little Dave. 20 years later, I got clean. Went to Storm Gym and now I'm the bull. It's, yeah. it's, it's mad. When you think of it, it's quite funny. It's a full circle moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, me, me and Amir was um, chalk and cheese. But it's mad because I loved them to bits. I loved them to bits. Still do. In fact, I've got children now, yeah. And every time I go back to Luton, I always go and see Amir. My children have met Amir. My, the mother of my children's met Amir. And my new girlfriend's met Amir. Because every time I go back to Luton, I, I pay, I pay the respect. He's a legend. And we had arguments about stuff. And you know, we used to sit in his office. And he never trained me how to fight, man. He just trained me how to be a man. He just trained me never to quit. He just trained me how to be a champion. I won four titles under him. And he never done a PT for me once. But he would never let me fail. He, he, he gave you the mindset. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And that's, it's kind of like way you look at Andrew Tate now and I think, yeah, if you spent years under him, you're going to get that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? There were, you, know, you can't be a wimp. You can't be a pussy. If you do something, you do as you're told. If you don't do as you're told, I'm going to hurt you. And then it's like, okay, cool. Very and, real. For me, I, I needed it. For someone of my history and story, I needed someone to turn around and say to you, if you don't do this, you're getting this. Mm. And I remember sometimes, man, standing there training and he'd be talking, he'd be walking around with his uh, blue bit of rope. What do you want? <laughs> what the fuck? And because it's a mirror, you never argue. Yeah. You're too scared. Not, mm, yeah, scared, I'd say. Yeah, he held true. fear, did he held fear into people a little bit? Like he was the... A mirror just commanded fear, respect. Nah, do you know what? If you actually talk to a mirror properly, He's soft as shit, but he's similar to me. He's got this, you know, he was in the Bosnian Wars. He's got some war. Mate, if you listen to some of his war stories, fucking hell, bro. He's seen life. Mate, mate, some of his war stories, just like, I sat in the office talking to him just in tears, like, bro, I feel you, man. And then we talk about some of my stuff and talk about some of his stuff. And like, in my first title, I was like, I mean, I can't do it, man. No, no, everyone thinks I'm shit. I'm shy. I ain't good enough. Wilmot, shut up. You've been through the addiction. You did this and you can't fight. Get in there, Wilmot. Shut up. <laughs> All right, cool. Won my first title because he believed in me. Yeah. He shattered at me enough. All my insecurities, all my issues, he overshattered it. So I had to believe it. 
because I didn't know ever, I didn't, there was nothing else to believe apart from Amir. He would shout at me to get it done, and I did it four times over with Amir. So, yeah, man, I love that wow. guy, man. I love that guy. That is mad, isn't it? Yeah.